Thank you for tuning in, you're in for an educational treat. If you could ask Donald Trump one single question and get an absolutely straightforward honest answer, what would it be? How influential was that Obama joke, at the correspondence dinner, to you running? Was it personal? What was the joke? It happened in 2011. Obama got up and made a few jokes about Donald Trump. While Trump was sitting in the audience, Obama would make a joke, and it would cut back to Trump's face. He was smiling. But he wasn't smiling with his eyes. You could tell he was angry. As for exactly what jokes Obama told, I don't exactly remember. Do you really want to be president? I honestly believe that when he entered the race, he had no intention of becoming president, it was just an ego exercise. At some point, as his support inexplicably grew, he found that he was in over his head, with no way to stop the wheels that were carrying him beyond where he wanted to go. I think that when he wakes up every day, he regrets getting involved in politics, and all he can do is keep stumbling along, with his handlers and funders and apologists pushing him forward. This doesn't give me a whole lot of sympathy for him, but it does make me think of him less as a purely evil megalomaniac and more as someone who was too incompetent to avoid becoming president or to figure out how to do it right once he got there. What is Obama's last name? Gate. Donald wanted the Trump wall and the Obama gate. And the George Bush. Press's record on my camera. Have you ever had sexual relations with a minor while you were an adult or been party to assisting those who did slash do? I'm so jaded at this point that I don't think this would damage his support. Well, let me explain to you what he actually meant when he said that. By F teens he meant owning the libs who don't want to come out of quarantine. What is your end game? Honest answer? Originally he just wanted his parents to love him. But it seems like they were cruel and vicious people, and they created a cruel and vicious son. Who needs attention? The endless pursuit for respect is what made him play pretend as a big boy businessman. That and some kind of amphetamine. I'm convinced that he doesn't even know what he's doing half of the time. Why do you never give honest straightforward answers? Trump, well that is a great question, Eon glad you asked such a great question and Idis a question that deserves a great answer. All great questions deserve great answers and this is one of those great questions. Next question. It's like he's really here. If you want to make him appear, it's Bloody Mary, just look into a mirror and dodge three questions. He should be there within seconds. Would you sign my petition to put genitals on gummy bears? Best one here. We need anatomically correct bears to breed in these uncertain times. That's fair. How do you want to be remembered? I think his honest answer would give us insight into why exactly he does the things he does. I think it would be one of the following, father's love. To be known as the best. To get back at other people. To be loved by everyone. He wants to be the very best like no one ever was. Well truth is I would like to know if he genuinely believes in conservatism or is just exploiting it. That seems too obvious to be interesting. He was a Democrat for years. Donated tons of money to Democratic campaigns. He only flipped once he discovered that he could actually make inroads with the Republicans with his particular brand of crazy, when he never could with Democrats. There are so many instances where he states some profoundly anti-conservative idea and then does a 180 once he, or more likely his advisors, realize it's not the correct thing to say. Take the guns first, go through due process second. Could it be that he supported mainly Democrats because he was from a state that was extremely partisan Democrat? He donated to them so he could have some influence? We can see this with large corporations. What's your top 10 list of bigliest crimes committed? Weirdly limited including dates, times, locations, and the names of others involved, what acts have you committed in the last decade that violate either American law or the laws of the jurisdiction in which they were committed? How realistic are we being for this scenario? Because I'm not confident Trump could understand the question as you phrased it. Which presidential actions have you taken that are solely to your own benefit, or to improve the way you think people perceive you? Good question. Also, what actions have you taken as the president because you are jealous of Obama? I think a better question would be which actions have been taken for reasons other than the above. Seriously, I don't think he's done anything as president solely to improve someone else's life. How do you spell hamburger? With letters. Lots of them. The best ones. If you only knew what I knew you'd be asking Obama. You see. Coca-Cola. It's a drink. You drink it with hamburgers like this. So it's obvious. Nasty question. Next, 
Perfect. Do you genuinely believe you're doing a good job? He has NPD. So he will answer yes to this question, no matter what the circumstances. Why after about 200 years he had to bring wigs back in the White House? Actually, this is a common misconception. I have studied this for many years. Trump doesn't wear a wig, he grows the hair out of the sides and back of his head and combs it forward to cover the top of his head to try to give the illusion of a full head of hair. He also dyes it, which makes it look even more fake. It's called a comb over. Whoa, don't go throwing your big words around here. Did you really want it to be president, or was the campaign a ploy to raise your profile to better negotiate a TV deal, and went in the opposite direction every time you said things that you thought will definitely end the campaign? The dude totally springtime for Hitler into the Oval Office. What government secrets do you know? All of them. And they're great secrets too, the best secrets. Let me tell you, nobody knows secrets the way I do. Everyone agrees with me on this. I've got little secrets, big secrets, you secrets. If you want secrets, you come talk to me. I know I'm all. What was it like to be in Home Alone 2? He's answered this before in an interview. Think he said something like it was an honor to be in such a big movie or something. Really? That seems impossibly nice. I mean, unless you speak ill of him, Donald Trump will sing your praises to the moon and back. Get on his bad side, he'll poop on you like a German prostitute on Taco Tuesday. Who hurt you? China. I don't know if it's the font or the spelling but I just burst out in a big belly laugh at this. Because you read it in a Trump voice, admit it. What was the most shocking thing you learned as president? That Puerto Rico is an island. Fun fact. Years ago he made some investments in my hometown in Puerto Rico. In his mind it's the worst of the worst. After all, it's inhabited by a bunch of Mexicans on welfare. That Puerto Rico is not part of the country Africa and not sure what continent Africa might be part of. What is on your tax returns? The stupid part is, this shouldn't even be a question. This information should be checked number one before letting someone run a country. He's worked hard to keep it secret, it must be really really bad. Honestly, even if all it shows is that he's merely a millionaire rather than a billionaire, he'd fight tooth and nail to keep them under wraps. His whole image is based around him being super rich. If it turns out that he's not, that's a big problem for him and his ego. Dude has an intrinsic need to be in the Trace Commas Club. On a scale of 1 to 10, what's your favorite color of the alphabet? The lamestream media keeps saying I like orange but that is fake hues. What would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.